Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with my puzzle pieces. Now, my goodness, it's been a long time since we did that puzzle, um, or the, you know, the puzzle pieces that we made. So yeah, I thought high time I come back and make some more because at the end of that video, I had had such fun making it. And I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to do some more. And here we are, it's probably nearly a year later, or yeah, probably is a year later, um, that I'm only just now coming back to do more. So I'm just going to pick out a few. Um, now this is one of my children's puzzles. It's, you know, just Power Rangers. It's the, yeah, they're bigger pieces, obviously, than like, you know, big grown up thousand piece puzzle or anything. This is a 100 piece puzzle. Um, so the pieces, yeah, they're not as tiny as they would be in, you know, a very kind of sophisticated grown up type puzzle. Now, I'm going to try and make these with paint. When I did this last time, it was obviously very, very, very fiddly um, covering these with the paper. So I'm going to try and paint these instead. And I'm going to try and peel this top layer off to give me a good paintable surface. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because obviously the puzzle pieces themselves, they have like a, you know, like a puzzle varnish obviously over them so I'm just making them a bit more matte by peeling that top layer off because obviously you want something that your paint is going to stick onto nicely so I'm just peeling off all those top layers whoops all those top layers of paper now again some of these I might end up then you know having peeled maybe more layers off one or more layers off a a section of one you know and then I'll go back in like here and maybe I won't be able to get the same thickness I'm really not going to get too bogged down with that I'm just going to go for it and just you know hopefully hopefully it's all going to uh, be disguised and covered up anyway when we decorate it so yeah I don't want to kind of get too hung up on all oh, that's not quite smooth or you know that's not the same level um you know in thickness now because I honestly don't think that you're going to really notice that by the time that we've decorated these I, I think yeah I don't think you're going to really notice to be honest so that's the theory that's the plan so we'll just peel a bit more off come on oops oh I seem to have peeled a, a thick layer off this one that's for sure and actually if we go down a couple of layers we seem to then not have that blue I think. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, like I say, don't want to get too caught up in that. So I'm just, you know, trying to get something that's going to have a bit of a, a bit of a rough surface for the paint to stick on. Okay, right. Let's get rid of these like that. Now, I'm going to try and be not so messy. So I'm going to put my gloves on. Oh dear, honestly. I'm probably still going to get messy because that's just, that's just me. Right, now do I need two gloves? I don't know why, for some reason I just got one. I don't know what I thought I was going to be doing with my other hand. Maybe I thought that was not going to be, not going to be kind of like getting, getting involved. I don't know. Who knows what, what I thought, to be honest. So, put on my other glove. Oh my goodness. Right, I feel like a, a brain surgeon. Oh, no, I mean, obviously I'm joking there. I don't really kid myself that I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm going to go in with hopefully pretty palish colours. Actually, I'm just going to put it on here. Oh, gosh, would you believe this? Not used these paints for a while, so now they're just now not wanting to come out. Come on. Right, okay. So I've got like a linen colour. Yeah, it's actually called linen. I've got a lilac. And these are just, you know, regular acrylic paints. Oops. And then I've got this gorgeous sea spray. I mean, I seem, seem like I use this quite often. Um, but I just really, really love it. So, okay. And then I've also got this sage colour, um, which I hope I don't kind of regret using because it is, you know, a little bit darker. But yeah, hopefully it's going to look nice. Now I've also got some gold. Um, 
I don't know whether the gold is going to be quite right, but actually I'm just going to bring in some blue as well. This is very dark, so yeah, probably do this one last, just in case I contaminate all the other colours with the dark blue. Okay, right, put that down. And I'm just going to, yeah, put some gold down because I'm thinking I might try and do like an all gold one. I'm actually now thinking perhaps I should do more than more than what I've got here. What do we think? Because I've got quite a bit of pink there. I mean, I'm clearly, you know, again, thinking I'm going to get way more done than I'm actually going to do in the course of a video. But, you know, I think, like I'm always saying, you know, while you're actually at it with one, you might as well kind of try and do a few. So, yeah, I'll just quickly peel these down. Just because now that paint's there, I think, oh, that's a lot of paint for just that handful of pieces that I had. So perhaps we might be able to actually do a bit more. Okay. Oops. Come on. Okay. And this one. Right. Okay, just do more. We'll be pleased to know because I'm sure this is not a great deal of fun to be watching. Right. Okay. Oh dear, this one's not wanting to peel off at all. Well, I guess that's how it is, isn't it? Some, you know, some bits are probably more stuck than others. Okay, and last one. Okay, right. Okay, right. Let's go for it. Let's paint some. So let's start with the ivory, I'm thinking. Oh, it's not really covering up that blue brilliantly, is it? So I might have to give them two coats, I'm thinking now. I mean, obviously, it's going to dry quite quickly. Well, I hope it's going to anyway. Because, obviously, they're only small. And now that they have got that very porous surface, you know, I would think that it's going to, to dry very quickly. So, yeah, let's do that one. I'm actually tempted to just start them all off with an ivory coat. I mean, what I should have done probably was just gessoed over them because that would have probably, you know, been quite a good way to get rid of that blue wouldn't it oh well we live and learn don't we so yeah let's just go over them all with the ivory first like that oh dear i mean obviously i could have used the underneath because the underneath is effectively what we've got here now but it was smooth the problem is you've still got then a bit of a glossy surface that, you know, maybe still wouldn't be ideal for gluing on things. Um, you know, so, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, yes, you could have used that. The other thing is the underneath, you know, where they've been cut with like a cutting machine. The underneath obviously has got like the, how would you describe it? You know, like the negative cut, if you know what I mean, because it was the underneath. So the sharper edges where the top pieces of the puzzle, of course, have got slightly more rounded edges to them, if that makes sense. So, you know, again, that probably is neither here nor there, because once they're decorated, you're probably not even likely to notice that. But yeah, for me, I feel like they would seem upside down, because you would sort of almost be able to see the, you know, the sharp edges, as opposed to this way up, where it's kind of got a more rounded finish okay so just this one okie dokie right might just might just go in with a different colour now perhaps oh dear now I've put my scissors in that gold paint oh and now my ink tool Oh dear. And this is why I'm just 
so covered in stuff constantly. Oh dear. Right. Let's go for that sea spray. Love this colour. pretty colour isn't it um, okay let's do another one in the sea spray okay right oh sorry I'm just fidgeting on my chair that I, uh, today I've been sat down for a long time right let's go with the lilac here one in that green like that okay okie dokie right okay so that's the green one now I'm just gonna wipe my fingers a little bit and then I'm just going to go back in on one or two of them with the ivory again to try and get like a second coat of the ivory colour. Okay. Well, it's not too bad, is it? It's it's covering up reasonably well. I might need to just put a bit more of that down. Come on. Oh gosh, this is just, you know, like watching paint pour. <laughs> Not watching paint dry, but watching paint pour. My goodness. It took a long time, didn't it, to um, finally come out. So I'll just go over a couple so that I can have a couple plain, you know, plain ivory. So, like that. Okay. Okay. Right, do we want to have another ivory one? Maybe just this one. Just, you know, whilst my finger is kind of clean with just the ivory on, I'll just do another one. Okay. There we go. Okie dokie, right. Again, just mop my fingers up a little bit and then let's go in, let's do a bit on this one. No, let's go on this one actually and do a little bit of that sage green maybe mixed with the ivory. Oh, that's not really gone quite how I thought. Doesn't look too bad, but yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit more, oh, I don't know, blended. Well, I guess it's pretty blended now, but oh, I don't know what I thought it was going to be, to be honest, but yeah, not quite, not quite as it's looking now, which just looks really <laughs> one dimensional and boring now. Oh, uh, well, it will look all right. Once it's done, it will all be, it will all be fine. So that's that one right let me again just mop up the sage let's do the lilac okay like a good bit around the edges okay Oh, that lilac one looks pretty, doesn't it? So let's do a lilac with the ivory, shall we? So again, just kind of mix in 
some lilac with some ivory. So, so hopefully we get a bit more of a a bit more of a patchy look than I got with that sage green just now. Perhaps I need to leave it a bit more kind of like patchy like that. I mean that's very textury now. Don't know whether you can really see that, but yeah, not like rubbed it in properly, so it's got a bit of a bit of a texture going on, but hopefully it looks all right. So let's do that sea spray. Oh okay. Just touching a little bit of this sage green in there as well. Maybe a bit of the ivory. Right, okay. Hopefully a bit of a multi tonal multi tonal one. I don't know. Right. Oh gosh. Do I dare go in with that blue now? Let's give it a go. Ooh, that's looking very bright, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the good thing is it's obviously covered up the blue brilliantly because of course it's just blue on blue. So yeah, that's really good. Right. I wonder if I can just mix it with a bit of maybe the ivory. Just so it's not quite as bright. Oh dear. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Just get rid of those weird patches. But yeah, just a bit of a toned down colour compared to how it was. So yeah, okay. Yeah, don't mind that. Right, and shall we try and do that one in just gold? Let's try and get that blue all off. Uh, have to be this one, I think. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. That one's completely gold. Right, now, I probably now need to leave them to dry. What's happening with these? Did these need a second coat? Oh, they must have done look, because they look rubbish, don't they? Right, let's just go in. I'm going to have very multicoloured now. Just gonna yeah go in with kind of whatever colour I just happen to have here. So it's got a bit of gold, a bit of the sage green. Quite a nice colour though actually. It's quite good, doesn't it? Uh, right, should we try that now? And the last one. Actually, that one needs another coat as well, doesn't it? It looks terrible. Yep. Okay. And again, just gonna pull in a bit of gold with that. Oh, I love how that looks. That looks lovely. Okay. Yeah, that one looks quite nice. And right, last one. So the last one is this one, which, oh, should we just, let's just mix this up and see what color we get. Hmm, very, very bright so far is the color we've got. So yeah, let's try and just take that down a little bit. I had also bought some white along and um, yeah, obviously I've not, not used any white whatsoever. Oh dear, it's now got dipped into it. Okay. That's a pretty colour, isn't it? I don't know really what colour I would call it, but yeah, it's quite a pretty colour. Okay, right. Now let me clean the desk off and I'm just going to dry all of these with the um, heat tool and then we'll come back. So hold on a minute. 
Right, I am back. So these are all a dry-ish anyway, at least. So um, yeah, we can get on and kind of decorate some of these up. So what I'm thinking is I would quite like to do some script stamping so that they're not, um, you know, completely plain, I think, on them. So I'm just going to grab my script stamp and my black stays on. So just want to pop some stamp in just roughly kind of like just you know anywhere really don't want to kind of like spend too long thinking about it like that yep okay I mean already they look really pretty don't they just from having a bit of script stamping just on them so yeah you know surprising what such a little thing can make such a big impact I think so I mean I love using script stamp you know anywhere and everywhere to be honest I don't very often kind of use it and think oh no you know I think pretty much it goes on everything you try it on it's one of them things that just looks great everywhere so yeah let's take this one okay so, I mean, obviously, you know, some of these have got way more script on them than others now. But that's all fine, you know, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that's all fine. Who knows? It might not be. Now, what I've got here, I've got some little tiny bits that I've printed from... Um, this was my Roses Are Red kit. And I couldn't tell you, I'm afraid, because it was a really long time ago that I did this. But I shrunk the pages down. I mean, by miles. They are literally minuscule. I mean, I can barely touch these, to be honest. Um, even for cutting so yeah they're really tiny so yeah I've no idea I'm afraid what ratio I used but very 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 tiny um, so I'm just going to cut out a few of these flowers but the other thing that I thought might be quite ideal for oops, for the puzzle pieces are from my vintage circles so these are the tiny circles oops and I'm thinking the bits contained in the circles would also be pretty good for these. Now, how I'm going to actually cut them is another thing altogether. I mean, I've got a, bust, a bird here. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to cut him out. Um, I'm going to have to obviously leave some edge to him because otherwise I just can't really get him at all. But yeah, if I just cut him out. I mean, he's really, really, really tiny. Oh, and tiny things are not my, not my thing. If you watch my channel, you will know. Um, so yeah, definitely, this is like really taking me out of my comfort zone. Um, doing such tiny things, but I'm just kind of thinking these are, you know, ideal for putting on these book page puzzle. Uh, these book page these you know puzzle pieces so I mean we could probably even leave them as circles but I just thought actually we could probably just go in and cut the pieces out individually so I mean yeah I have to question now why I would why I would think to do something so ridiculously fiddly but hey there we go I mean, aren't they just gorgeous, to be honest? They look really good. Worth a bit of the pain trying to actually cut them, I think, because they do look really, really, really pretty, even though they are really, 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 really fiddly to do. Um, let me just have a look and see. Because there's also some bows that are pretty tiny, and um, I think some of the bows would look quite good, but I don't know whether I've actually got any that are tiny enough now. Um, no, I probably still need to cut them out because to be honest on the whole I kind of shy away from using tiny things Oops, because you know I do find them so very fiddly so yeah I kind of try and avoid try and avoid using tiny things as much as I can um, but this is just one of those projects that of course does call for tiny things so let me just see in my bag if I've got any more any more tiny little bits that we could use hold on a second sorry about this oh, come on because i'm actually wondering whether i could use some of the one inch circle pieces 
because those pieces are so tiny. You know, I'm struggling a little bit to cut them out. Um, so yeah, I'm just wondering whether I might be able to use some of these from the one inch circles, which are just marginally bigger to be able to cut them out. So for instance here, let's try and cut that chair out. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's still incredibly tiny. I mean, that circle is a one and a half inch circle. So, I mean, obviously the piece that's in the circle is really, really, really small. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is tiny. Very, very, very tiny. Right. Okay. I mean, the only good thing is being so tiny, hopefully, no one would really know if you kind of really made a big mess cutting it, I suppose. Oh, but tiny, but brilliant on the puzzle piece, to be fair. So kind of worth the pain of cutting it. So, yeah, let's cut this lady. Right. Oh, my goodness. I don't know whether I'm now just picking the worst things to cut. I mean, like this lady. I mean, hello. What was I picking? She is not very straightforward to cut out at all. Oh my goodness. Come on. Okay. Actually, now I'm thinking she might be too big after all that. Oh no. Yep, she's going to look all right on there, isn't she? So yeah, it turns out these one and a half inch circles are actually perfect for these. I mean, obviously, like I say, it would depend what size your puzzle pieces were. So, you know, I'm not trying to make a sweeping statement. They are perfect for my puzzle pieces. And as I said, mine was a 100-piece puzzle, child's, you know, child's 100-piece puzzle um, by Ravensburger. So, yeah, if that kind of means anything and makes any difference to anybody, if you happen to have some laying around in your house from maybe your children or your grandchildren, then, yeah, that's the puzzle piece that, or that's the size pieces that I'm using. Right, so, I mean, this one, obviously, I've made a bit of a rubbish job of cutting. But, to be honest, I could probably disguise that with some ink and things. So, I'm not going to get too bogged down with, you know, worrying about that, to be honest. Now, the only other one, actually, is this butterfly. Because this would look gorgeous on that lilac one, wouldn't it? So, yep, yeah, let's take that down. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, thinking that on there. Ah, oh, how lovely does that look? Right, okay, let's start having a bit of fun now and putting some of these on. So, just going to use my walnut stain and yeah kind of like just start inking some up and deciding what's going to go on what so this chair i mean that just looks gorgeous doesn't it on that puzzle piece so let's just ink around the chair to disguise my rubbish cutting oops and i'm going to just have that onto that puzzle piece now or do we think it blends in a bit too much perhaps he needs a contrasting thing you know i thought the chair would be perfect but Maybe it blends a bit too much. Maybe it should go on something else. You know, I don't want it obviously not showing up because that's just then silly, isn't it? So it might look better perhaps on on a different piece. I wonder if these flowers would look good on there. Oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? So these flowers, obviously, they're not from the circles. They're from the Roses are Red kit that like I say I just kind of printed it like super small I wish I could remember what ratio I had actually used it was just I'd done that such a long time ago I just can't remember now for the life of me what I actually did use so I'm just going to glue this on oops like that how gorgeous does that look love that right as I do them, I'm just going to put them to one side. So let's do the ones that we're definitely sure of first. So the lilac with the lilac butterfly. Love how that looks. Yeah, 
there. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, oops. Like that. Oh, I love that. Put that to one side. Right, okay. Where do we want this lady? So again, just ink her up and disguise that rubbish cut in. Perhaps she should go on the blue, to be honest. Quite like her on there. Okay, oops. She looks lovely, doesn't she? Yeah, really like like her on there. Uh, right. Let's go for... And I've got this one, which is a circle. No, it doesn't look as good as is a oh, doesn't look as good as. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Does not look as good as a circle, does it? But that one's quite nice. The clock with the roses. So, just pop that one. I think on there. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to go back to cutting some more bits, aren't I, unfortunately? Oh, I've got another another little rose there. Honestly, they're so tiny. I mean, they're just like nothing just floating about on the desk. Yeah, perhaps I'll have that rose there. Or perhaps we should have it here. Oh, I don't know. Mm, it looks a bit weird, I think. Uh, yeah, so let's just have it here. Okay. Right. So this, yeah, this bird I actually think is um, maybe a bit too tiny, would you believe? I probably could have done one of those smaller puzzle pieces. Not not the really small ones from a really small puzzle, I don't mean. I just mean like in this particular puzzle, obviously some bits are still smaller than others, if you know what I mean. And I've tried to pick the, you know, the largish ones. So, of course, they're, you know, very visible. Oh, well, not visible, very um, workable. But yeah, I'm now actually thinking, oh, I could have probably gone for a bigger one. A smaller one you know didn't know that I was going to be going for such tiny pieces right maybe we could have that butterfly on there as well yeah that's pretty isn't it okay how gorgeous does that look Right, still don't know now where to put this chair, so let's just decide. It's not bad on there. So we could have it on here. Could have it on the gold. Oh, might have to have it on the gold. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Right, don't know whether the gold will really ink up brilliantly, but let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Like that. Right, more pieces are required now, so more, more, more ridiculously tiny cut in here. So, oh my goodness. Oh, put my glasses back on. Honestly, it's so hard to see these bits. They are so tiny. And like I say, I mean, this is the one and a half inch circles, so yeah. Oops, okay. Just, um, you know, don't really feel that comfortable working with such tiny bits, I think. So, uh, yeah, this is out of my comfort zone for sure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, can't even hold it, let alone cut it. What is going on here? Let's get rid of that bit so I can get in here a bit easier. Okay. 
Yep, okay, that looks better. Right, so how many bits do I need? So I need another five things. Oh my goodness, another five things to cut out. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> a lot more fussy cutting needing doing. Okay, let's do these ones. Oh, maybe that blue butterfly. Um, or maybe one of these ladies. Yeah, maybe her. Yeah, okay, right, let's take these and cut these ones. Okay, oh my goodness, look at this lady. She is going to be tricky, tricky to cut out. Oh, come on. She doesn't look too bad. Let's do the blue butterfly. Okie dokie. So sorry, I mean really I should have probably cut these bits out first. To be honest, I didn't really expect to be doing so many pieces. You know, it was just that when I then had all those blobs of paint over the desk, I wanted to obviously just use it all. So um, yeah kind of just ended up doing more than I expected well perhaps I should just stop there because um yeah I mean because what happens is sometimes then you know of course you get people you know comment who don't want to sit and watch you fussy cut and I completely get that you know so yeah you've got a point I'm sure you don't tune in to watch watch fussy cutting going on I'm sure that's not at all what you tune in for so yep you're absolutely right okay now might have to have her on here actually. Oh, she looks great on there, doesn't she? So again, just ink around here. Okay, and yeah, going to put her on there. She looks lovely, absolutely lovely. On there. Oops. Okay, right, might make this my last one. So, did I just fussy cut a chair just now? Don't know where that chair's just gone. Oh, it's there to the side of me. So yeah, might might do the chair. Um, where do we think the chair would be best? Let's just see. Well, the chair's quite nice on there actually. swap those around right okay I'm going to have it this way round with the chair on this one okay okay right that was uh, a lot of deciding wasn't it suddenly at the last minute um, and then the blue butterfly on to the blue one okay right okay right let me just move these three out of the way so, yep, that's those. Now, what I want to do now is obviously, um, you know, some little finishing touches is the plan. So let me grab in. I know I did use this last time we did these, but, you know, they worked so... Sorry, just jogged my, my teacup. They worked so brilliantly. So, um, yeah, if I can, I wouldn't mind using those again. And I'm going to use my little gold paint stick, my little Brian paint stick, because, again, that just you know, works so brilliant now and things. And of course you can be quite precise with how you put it because it's, you know, it's controllable. It's just a little stick, isn't it? So just having a look now to see if I can see my tiny weenie pearls. And you've got these ones, which of course would be humongous on here. I mean, I might be able to get away with one or two with those, but yeah, I mean, on the whole, those really tiny ones would be a billion times better wouldn't they so let me just see whether I've got any of those anywhere I right, can't see them I mean I've definitely got some but yeah I just can't see them at the moment so oh well we'll have to um work with what we've got I think yeah okay we're just just working with what we've got right 
Oh my goodness, I feel nervous now about this. So just going to put a little bit around the edge and then just trying to smudge, smudge it around. I mean, obviously this is paint, you know, so it is kind of smudgy, if you know what I mean. But try and not to have it all over the entire thing is tricky. Tricky to say the least, so yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness, I mean, I don't know if, if you can really see that, but wow, that looks so gorgeous with that gold, I have to say. Really, really, really lovely. And then I think what I'd like to do is just glossy accent this so it's got a really lovely finish to it. So I'm just going to bring some book page in to just put these on so that I can glossy accent things and then move them out the way. Or I might be better off actually just doing it all in one hit. So, um, yeah, I might be better off actually doing all of my glossy accents in one go. So perhaps I'll wait and do the glossy accenting all together. So let's just put that to one side. Right, okay, so the next one. So, yeah, let's again just gild the edge of this. Oh, my goodness, I love that gilding on this green. I hope the camera's really picking this up because, my goodness, on this green, it looks so, so, so gorgeous. I really love it. And sometimes, you know, things just don't look quite so, you know, brilliant as they do in the flesh, do they? When you look on camera, it's like, oh, it's not really showing quite how gorgeous that does look so yeah I really hope that this is coming across looks really lovely so let's see if we've got a word or something that we could have with this one so these are just those little book words we've done a video doing these yeah I could definitely pop pop one of these down on here so again just make it slightly smaller And just ink that up. Whoops. Yeah, it's quite pretty, so I'm just going to pop that on over there in the corner. Okay. You know, and it might be that I will glossy accent some and not others. I don't know yet. We'll see. So let's get this one. Now this one already has got gold on it from the paint, you know, because this is that one that we kind of did that um, smudgy, <laughs> smudgy gold on. So yeah, it's already got a bit of gold around. I have to say it's not very easy really getting to the edge of this. Yeah, it's not as easy as I expected or had hoped, unfortunately. So I'm not really making the best job of going around the edge, but Anyway, it looks okay. Oops. Oh dear, we've got a lot of gold now going on on this one. But hey, I think it can carry, carry it off. It looks all right. Um, so for this one, I'm wondering if we could have another rose on here. So I might just quickly cut this one out. Sorry, just dragged in my painty gloves. Get rid of those. Oh, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Just with that little rose on there. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Okay, so just put that one down there like that. Okay. Right, this one. I 
again, just, you know, smudge that around. Oh, come on. Okay, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Don't know whether we need anything on there, to be honest. It looks pretty as it is. Yeah, I might be kind of like struggling to get anything else actually on. Oh, that could go just under that. Just under that butterfly wing. We can just squeeze it in there. Just there, like that. Okay. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that just like finishes that one off. Put that to one side, right, let's do this one. Okay. Now this one obviously has got quite a bit going on already. So I'm thinking for this one, we might try one of those big pearls. I don't know, you know whether that would look all right, but yeah, maybe just try one of those big pearls on here. I just think it might swamp it completely, but hey, let's see. Oh, it looks all right, actually. So yeah, let's just put this one down. Again, just pop a little dab of glue there. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? Okay, right. You'll be pleased to know we don't have many left to do. So, yeah, we're getting through them. I mean, you know, you could add glitter on these. You know, there's, yeah, loads of different things that you could add to these, to be honest. I mean, I'm probably just being really boring. Just putting all the same type of elements on but yeah I mean I think you could add loads of different things to them you know in fairness Oops. okay oh, this is a little bit smothered smothered in gold now never mind right Seems like I'm going one extreme to the other. I'm either like smothering it or just end up wiping it off. So that one I seem to wipe most of it off. Right, this one obviously is gold. So yeah, it doesn't really need gold edging as well as being gold because I don't think it would really show. Right, let's just quickly finish these off. So I've got these little mulberry flowers here, which again, we did use these, I think last time that we made these. So yeah, let's just take one of those. Oh, maybe these are not quite right on these ones. They might have been better on some of the other ones that we've done, I don't know. But yeah, they don't look brilliant. Oh, that one looks okay. Yeah. Let's just put this one on. And then I could probably do with just a really tiny pearl. Now, do I have one in here, I wonder? <laughs> Might be a little lilac one, just stuck on this little clump of pearls, you know. Yeah, okay, right. Ooh. Honestly, I feel like I'm now just doing one, ooh, one fussy thing after another and actually getting more and more fiddly as I'm going. <sighs> right. Oh, how gorgeous is that, though? Worth it. Fiddly, but worth it. My favourite one, I think. Uh, right, so the l couple that I've got left. Freedom, that's not the right word, is it? For any of those. Fun? No. Oh, no, I haven't really got any suitable words now. That's just all typical, isn't it? 
cream. Let's just tear that down a bit. Yeah, we could have Dream on this one. This one, it sort of has a bit of a, um, to me, feels a bit steampunk. I don't know whether it does to anybody else. <laughs> it might just be me, but yeah, something about it. It's a little bit steampunky feeling. Right, so these two, what shall I put on these? I've got some Martha Stewart butterflies, um, which I might be able to finish these two off with. So yeah, let's just move these little pearls out of the way. Yeah, let's see what we've got in here. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? I mean, I know it's... Oh, it might have to go on this one because actually it got a bit lost in that other one. So, yeah, let's just pop it on here. I know it's huge in comparison to the chair, but I don't think it matters looks okay the chair dwarfed by the butterfly I still think it looks okay <laughs> right might have a glittery one on this one that looks pretty doesn't it right last one so yeah let's put that butterfly just on there okay so now all I'm going to do is just glossy accent these now I don't necessarily want to gloss glossy accent all of them like I say you know, it might be I'll do some and some leave. But yeah, let's have a look and see which ones we want to glossy accent. So I'm just going to put in my glossy accents. I'll put it away because I suddenly remembered actually I've got a very, um, you know, sort of messy bottle that was very clogged up and things um, that needs just using up. So yeah, I might as well use this first. So just pull this in. Okay, let me just get it going. It's a bit clogged up. Okay. Okay, right. So which ones are we going to glossy accent? Okay, well, what I might do, yeah, I might not glossy accent that one. I might glossy accent this one though. Now, I always tend to just use my finger. I'm not going to be able to use that finger now because it's gold, but I can go in with my other finger. And I'm going to try and leave the word not glossy accented. So, yeah, just going around the rest, but not the word. No particular reason, I just thought that would be kind of nice. So leave that to dry. Um, which other ones do I want to? This definitely, glossy accent, this one. And I'm actually thinking this one could do with a pearl, which I hadn't really thought of before. So I'm wondering whether I might be able to stick a pearl in with the glossy accents in a second. So yeah, it's just, haven't really ever used glossy accents as glue before. I know, you know, you can, but yeah, I don't think I ever have. Oh my gosh, I love that blue one. It's really pretty. So again, just going to put that little pearl down there. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Right, let's do this one. Oh, this I'm a bit silly because, yeah, I've got that word again. I've got a lot of fiddly things on this one, so oh, I want to kind of glossy accent the butterfly wing, but not the word. Should have really thought about that first, shouldn't I? Okay, right. Okay, it, it looks okay, I think. So that one. Uh, again, probably want to glossy accent this one. Again, thinking should have really not glued that butterfly on. Let's take it off and then let's stick it back in in a minute. Because I quite like to have that butterfly a bit more flapping, um, if I can. So just like that. 
Okay, right. This one, yeah, definitely glossy accent, this one. Yeah, I always just use my finger. Um, I mean, I'm not saying again that that's an ideal method. For me, I just find it quickest and easiest to just use my finger and I just dab around. And then, I mean, you know, they say that glossy accents, it's kind of self-leveling anyway. So, you know, if in doubt, just kind of like turn it around a little bit and, you know, let it run down a bit. And then, yeah, you should get quite an evenish coat, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying obviously your finger is ideal. But for me, I have tried obviously using a brush and things. But to be honest, you know, you're just then creating jobs for yourself, having to wash the brush up and, you know, all of those kinds of things. And to be honest, I probably just find it quicker, quicker and easier just to just dab it with my finger, to be fair. So, yeah. Oops, just dropped something onto that one. Okay, and yeah, just want to do quickly that little bit there. And just a bit round there. Have I got it everywhere? Everywhere other than the word? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, again, nobody's, you know, nobody's going to be um, examining these, are they? And kind of, oh, you missed a bit, you missed a bit. You know, nobody's going to be doing that. So sometimes got to... Just keep it in perspective, I suppose. So, um, yeah. Right. So that is um, all the bits that we have done. So I will come back when they're all dry and we'll have a play and, um, yeah, see what we can do with these. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.